The announcement just coming out this morning. The uh, 2024 Verbo Fiesta Bowl Parade presented by Lerner and Rowe has named its Grand Marshal for this year's parade. It's our honor to welcome uh, the Grand Marshal to our show, Anthony Robles, who uh, joins us here via video. Anthony, congratulations. Anthony. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it, man. Hey, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to speak with you. What does this, I mean, you're an Arizona kid. What does this mean to you to get this honor? This is an honor. And you know, I went to Mesa Junior, Mesa High School, I mean, Arizona State, obviously. So it's, you know, being the hometown boy, I took a lot of pride in that. And, you know, this is still home for me now. You know, so to be recognized as a Grand Marshal, to be a part of the festival and everything that it stands for, what they do for the community, uh, this is a blessing. You know, and this is an opportunity. And, uh, man, I'm never going to forget this day and also the parade, the game. This is going to be a special moment for me and my family. Well, you are a fantastic choice for it. You epitomize everything they like to express. And you've also got a movie coming out where Jennifer Lopez plays your mother. <laughs> Don Cheadle's in the movie as well. And you do your own stunt doubles. That is quite a trifecta. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a surreal experience and a, a, a felt like a dream. You know, with the amazing cast that you mentioned, Jarell Jerome, uh, it was an honor. But, you know, more so than that, I, I just loved how these individuals came together and they really cared about telling my story in an authentic way, you know, to make my family and I proud. And they accomplished that. So I can't wait for the world to uh, get to see the film coming out here uh, in just a few weeks, actually. But uh, I think overall, you know, the message is about being unstoppable, about wrestling through life's challenges. So I believe it's going to be very relatable to everyone who watches it. Yeah, the movie is uh, called Unstoppable. It comes out a li limited theatrical release December 6th, released globally on Prime Video January 16th in the new year. I, for one, Anthony, I, I mean, I can't believe it's been 13 years since you won your NCAA championship uh, in yeah. wrestling. But, yeah. I mean, a movie like that, a story like yours, a life like yours lends itself to a movie. So take us back. Like, when did this whole process start? When did Hollywood start knocking on the door of Anthony Robles to try to turn your life story into a movie? Yeah, well, to tell you what, it doesn't feel like 13 years. I feel like I could still go, you know, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, I remember honestly getting some phone calls the night that I won my championship from production companies asking about doing a movie about my life. And, uh, you know, it was a whole new world, a whole new experience. And I was blessed to have met some good people early on who gave me some great advice. And they said, you know, take your time with it. Make sure you partner up with a group that's going to tell your story in a way that's going to make you proud of it. And so, uh, you know, I got partnered up with with the director, Billy Goldenberg, around, around 2017 or 18. Uh, and 2019 is when we really started to kind of start rolling with the film. But there were some delays with COVID and the writer strike. Um, but again, you know, it was a long wait, but it was so worth the wait, considering who we were able to have involved with this film, all the way from the director to the cast to artist equity. Um, and they really, you know, they cared about my family. You know, they cared about having our input and our thoughts. And uh, it was neat because from the very first draft of the script, we were involved all the way to the very end. And, you know, that's something that as a family, we're proud of this finished product. And we, you know, we can't wait for the world to see it because it's not just my story. You know, it's my mom's story. It's my siblings. Uh, and uh, they are captured great and perfectly in this film. You know, a lot of people have moved to the Valley since you won that national championship in 2011, as my partner mentioned. Many people may not know your story, how you were born without your right leg, how you walked on to ASU. Tell our listeners who may not be familiar, where did you get the courage? Where did you get the ambition? Where did you get the willpower to overcome your obstacles? Say 100 percent that comes from my mom. You know, I was born missing my leg and immediately from day one, the world saw me and, and, and what was going to hold me back, you know, and they, they automatically had the list of things that I wouldn't be able to do. But my mom chose not to allow me to think with that same mentality. She didn't raise me that way. It was always OK. There's you can do anything you set your mind to. Some things you just have to do differently. You know, how can we accomplish your goals? So really, I treated missing the leg and, and overcoming challenges like a puzzle. It was never that I couldn't do it. It's never that I didn't have the pieces. It was just like, OK, I had to move these pieces around to fit what I wanted to do. And uh, when I got into wrestling, you know, my cousin introduced me to the sport. Wrestling became my outlet and really a platform to show people what I was capable of. You know, I felt like it allowed me to control the narrative of my, of my life. You know, rather than having people focus on my missing leg, I said, you know, you're going to focus on what I'm capable of, what I can do. And wrestling just gave me that, that opportunity to do so. And I, I ran with it. Anthony Robles is the uh, Grand Marshal of the 2024 Verbo Fiesta Bowl Parade. It's presented by Lerner and Rowe. It's happening Saturday, December 28th at 10 a.m. He is our guest right, near, right now on uh, Bickley and Murata Mornings. Uh, and this announcement coming during uh, Territorial Cup Week is, is pretty cool, too, because there's a lot of Sun Devil pride with what's going on in the football program. 
But I got to pick your brain, Anthony. You're a proud Sun Devil. You didn't go against Arizona. They didn't have a wrestling program. So where's your hatred level for that program? <laughs> we don't even talk about that other program over there. It's all <laughs> ASU, maroon and gold in my blood, man. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just honored. Again, hometown boy, Sun Devil, proud Sun Devil. My mom and I were at that uh, BOU game the other day, and I'm just so happy to see ASU football, you know, being back where, where it deserves to be. You know, that they're in great hands with their coach over there. They're doing some amazing things. And uh, I'm going to be cheering for them as well as other Sun Devils to take care of business, you know, finish this season strong. But, uh, man, I, I love to see what they're doing on and off the mat, on the field, on the court. You know, they're taking care of business this year, that's for sure. This movie obviously is going to inspire, I think, another generation of young people. Tell me the impact you have had. I'm sure you've had any number of stories of people that you have touched deeply with your resilience and your determination. Give us a sample of that. Man, I've, I've been blessed. You know, uh, social media, getting messages here and there. But one thing which actually you'll see in the film, I remember getting a, a stack of letters from a group of third graders when I was competing. Uh, and they were just writing me as, as their hero of the week. And, you know, to hear about them and to have, they said, you know, you, you motivated me to overcome this challenge or that challenge. That really opened my mind to realize that I was wrestling for more than just a title and a trophy at that point. And that's when I decided, you know, what, I want to dedicate my life to giving back to the community, to giving back to these youth, which is why I'm a high school coach now, which is why I'm doing motivational speaking now. Because, you know, I wouldn't have gotten here today without people in my life who poured into me, who believed in me and, and supported me. And that's what it's all about. You know, it's not about just reaching our own goals. We got to you know, turn back around and help others reach our goals, too, and give back. So for these kids that reach out, man, I'm just doing everything that I can to help that next unstoppable story come out. Well, I can't wait to see the movie. Saw the trailer when it came out a few weeks ago, Anthony. It looks amazing. And I, I think it's coming at a time when the, the world needs an inspiration. So uh, you inspired the world in 2011. You're doing it again. I have to know, though, in the process of this movie making, do you have like JLo's number in your phone now? Is that is that a reality? <laughs> I don't have JLo's number. My mom does. And, you know, but <laughs> That's right. They're they're tight now. You know, they're like like best friends, and it's it's pretty cool to see that. You know, and uh, couldn't ask for more. Like Jennifer Lopez, my mom, you know, my wow. hero, and someone everyone knows. It's uh. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Anthony, congratulations Congrats, on everything. Brother. Like we said, can't wait to see the movie. And uh, enjoy this whole experience of being the Verbo Fiesta Bowl uh, Parade Grand Marshal. We appreciate it. Uh, it's an honor, guys. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anthony Robles joining us here on Bickley what and Murata Mornings. Yeah. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.